Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So I am here in Daytona, Florida for the 29th Annual National Reptile Breeders Expo. Sporting the Triple B t-shirt. Brian, that's K-A-U-F-M-A-N for when you write out that check. I'm not even vending here. I'm just here to check out this amazing expo and check out some amazing animals. And, uh, you know, sit in the air conditioning because it's like 150 degrees out here. Whew! I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles. And I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Rainbow Mealworms, we grow all our insects 100% naturally so that you get the freshest, most lively feeders on the market. So for all your reptile food needs, place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net. So Dave's decided he really doesn't want to vlog today, so I just took his uh, camera out of his pocket. I'm going to vlog for him. Dave seems like he's a little tired. He needs a little break. And uh, hmm, what does Dave usually do? He usually does something like this. He's got the glasses on the head, right? And he goes around like this, and he spins in circles. He goes, what I'm here to do for you guys today, Herpers, is rattle on. <laughs> So one of my favorite things about coming to a show like this and traveling to shows all over the world is to meet you guys, the Rattlers, the fans of this show. You guys are awesome. Every one of you that comes up and says hi to me, I just really love meeting each and every one of you. And with that said, the Patreon link is in the description below. My little man Noah. Hey Noah, how you doing? Hey, he's loving the Good to meet you. Too. Awesome man, you want a photo? Absolutely. Hi, what's your name? David. David? That is a great name. Hi. My name is Andrea. Uh, what was that? Andrea. Andrea. Hi. Good to meet you. Sorry, I'm Dave. Hi. Good to meet you. You guys mind? You mind if they take a picture with you? You want to take a picture? Absolutely. Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Hi. <laughs> All right. Let's take a picture, guys. And what's your Instagram? Uh, I know you was just met by. Yeah, you. at Dave Kaufman. Dave. K A. Oh, it's no, K -A. yeah, yeah, K A. No E. Good meeting you, brother. Good meeting you, too. All right. Hey, too. Good meeting you. <laughs> of course you can get a picture. Good meeting you. Yeah, you Good well. meeting you. Good meeting everybody uh, standing in the back. So D-A-V. Go back, go back, go back. K. A. U. There I am. There you are. Hit that follow. Hit that follow. Awesome. Okay. Oh, you need a picture? Yeah, I'll take a picture. Right. Yeah, I need one too after. You need a picture? You need a picture? Five dollars for pictures, starting now. Check this guy out. This is an albino sulcata, an albino spur thigh tortoise. You can get this guy for $4,500. That's about what I paid for my Jeep. So this guy is two years old. This guy is what, a couple months old? No. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna. Here, we'll just. You're safe up there, buddy. These guys are just adorable. Look at this little guy. So these little tortoises, they are one of the rarest morphs of tortoise out there as far as genetic mutations are concerned. There's not a lot of albino tortoises out there, but these albino sulcatas, come here, buddy. These albino sulcatas, these are just amazingly awesome. Here's Raymond from Thunder Bay Herps. He has, look at this. This is all blue tongues. Leftovers from last year. Last year I had 347. I'm like, no more, I'm just quick. I'm just last year you had how many? 347. 347 blue tongue babies you had last year. It's pretty hard to tell males from females. If they're overfed, they all are female. Right. They have double chains like Maruki. Yep, yep. Chain. This guy, let's see. Wider in the front, getting slender towards the back. The hips aren't that wide, but underneath it's kind of square. Flat vent scale. A long, wide, flat vent from side to side is a male. A female, it's curves and it's shorter the vent. I see. And they have, the male has a long tail compared to the length of the body. Females have a long body compared to shorter, shorter length tail. tail. Right. Males are jerks. Females sit there calm and content and keep their weight on. If you don't feed them for a week or two, males lose weight within two days and they're running around like lunatics. <laughs> from Ozzy Boyds is here. I follow him on Instagram. He has some of the most amazing ball python morphs. And as I'm scrolling through Instagram, I see his posts, I instantly like them. Seriously, you've got to check out these ball pythons he does. All right, here's the man, Oz. Check these out. So, which ones are your, like, your three favorites here? Wow, it's really, really tough, but I'm gonna scoot over here. So this is an orange dream, and sheep, leopard, red stripe, banana and I just love the I love the pattern and the different coloration you know I just you know I just love the red stripe gene and I love the leopard and you know I've always been a big fan of the banana yeah so this is uh, this is a really cool snake definitely one of my favorites another one of my favorites is uh, super orange dream and she pie the super orange dream pies are just off the charts and this thing here is just, you know, look at the coloration, how clean it is. I just love it. And uh, again, I want to take this to uh, take this into cloud. Some other genes, stack some more genes on it. Just a lot of potential. All right, so this here is uh, Cypress Mardi Gras or Cypress Enchi Freeway. Um, this is the world's first, as far as I know. Um, and this thing just has a lot of crazy coloration. Really big fan of the freeway stuff. And I think the freeways, they just get better with age. So excited about some of this and uh, looking forward to putting some Orange Dream into this too. So yeah, very much so. So this is the Orange Dream Freeway. Yes, sir. Orange Dream Freeway. And these, I have an 1800 gram female at home and she looks exactly like this. So they don't lose their contrast, they keep their coloration. So, you know, really, really love the freeway stuff. Wow, that is gorgeous. You know what I'm and check out the belly. It's oh got a white, pied belly. Look at that. That may be one of the most amazing ball pythons I've ever seen. It's beautiful, man. Wow. Now this here is uh, Orange Dream, Black Pastel, Banana Cypress. Orange Dream, Black Pastel, Banana Cypress. Correct. Now you had this picture on Instagram and it went almost viral, didn't it? Yeah, when this thing first hatched out, it was just insane. You know, and, it, and it's kept, you know, it's kept its, uh, it's kept its coloration, but this was almost like a, you know, fluorescent orange. Yeah, yeah. It was just, it was intense. So, again, you know, I like playing around with the banana, and I, you know, I have some ideas on how to, like, really, really make this pop even more. So, we're going to do some cool stuff with this project next year. This male uh, is going to be bringing quite a few females for us, so... Stay tuned. So the Cypress gene is a gene that not a lot of people know about yet. Do yep. you know the history of where it came from? Who was the yeah, first so, to do it? So the Cypress gene was originated by Outback Reptiles. And um, I, don't, I don't know the exact history, like what year they uh, got it in. I, I believe it, it originated from an African uh, import that yeah. they brought in. But um, 
it has a super form, so it's a codon, and a really, really cool project, I think. It has a lot of potential, it does a lot of weird things, and you know, we're working on making some uh, Cypress, Ultramel Ghost stuff, Cypress Clowns, you know. Oh, those are going to be fantastic. Course. Yeah. How long have you been working with ball pythons? You've been at the game for a while, haven't you? So I started, I, I got into ball pythons in 2000. And, um, so 18 been, years ago. It's been, it's been 18 years ago. Ozzy Boyd's, I, you know, it was a screen name that I was using on uh, some of the forums, and I actually converted Ozzy Boyd's into a business in 2003. So this is our 15th year anniversary. 15th year is Ozzy yeah. Boyd's. But That's years, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, 18 years. Awesome. All right, Rattlers, so it's the morning of day two. I've already had two cups of coffee. I'm on the hunt for cups three through five, but yesterday it was such a zoo in here, I only got to see half of this show. So today, I'm gonna check out the other half. Best banner ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up, Woo. <laughs> that is awesome. So here's Trace and here is his awesome rainbow boas. Albino rainbow boas. And look at this, the jungle carpet phase rainbow boa. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that, leucistic over here. I have a leucistic from Trace. She is like gonna be part of my family forever. I absolutely love that snake. So if you want any of these awesome rainbow boas, find Trace online. Hardenherp.com. Hardenherp.com. <laughs> Do it. How many boa people do I have out there? I'm gonna go check out Perfect Predators table and talk to Manny Freight about his absolutely amazing boas. Go <laughs> wait till you see these. All right, this is Manny Freight from Perfect Predators. He's gonna show us some amazing boas. Cool. All right, guys. So um, you know, 2018, we were working with certain projects. Uh, one of the um, more uh, interesting projects that we were working with was the Labyrinth. The Labyrinth is a uh, it's a codon gene that has a real funky pattern and, and really cool eyes. And we, we uh, went towards the uh, VPI caramel albino with it. And we were uh, fortunate enough to make Hets a couple years ago. And then this year we made the visual. And here it is. Look at that. So this is a Sunglo VPI caramel albino labyrinth. 11 years ago, not quite. Eight years ago, we imported the first labyrinth boa from Colombia, and um, two years ago, that that uh, labyrinth gene was bred into the VPI gene and made the het for VPI. And this year, we bred uh, those hets to a, a visual VPI, and we made uh, the labyrinth VPI. So, you know, it's a seven-year, eight-year process. And, uh, you know, we're just happy to finally get there. With boas, it's not so fast like it is with other reptiles. Right. So once you get there, it's, it's, it's like a roller coaster. It's, right, it's right. It's thrill. You know? Right. All right, so this one is the only one in the world. That's the only one. That is an amazing snake. One thing that really captures me about it is the eyes. You know, you don't, you don't see that eye in a boa. It's like a solid, you know, cap with the, with the cat pupil, you know. And that's... Um, unique to the labyrinth gene. We also uh, are known for working with the Key West. We were the first to produce the VPI Key West. And this is what a Key West looks like. It's got a, a connected pattern um, design on its back and obvious. And then the tail is, is uh, what, what you call ladder tail. And then this year we went ahead and we put the Motley gene, we put the Motley gene into the Key West. And look at this design, how cool it looks. It looks almost like a ladder going up the things back. All right, so a uh, popular boa is the Superfire. It's a leucistic boa, and um, it's basically all white, no pattern, no color, and the eyes are a blue. 
And the Super Fire is basically the only true Luc well, it's maybe not a true leucistic, but it's the closest that we can get to leucistic in boas, in correct? Boas, correct. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, there's a little speckling on it. There's um, speculation that it could be something uh, going on, maybe a, a hypo pattern or some kind of other pattern, but we can't, we can never verify that. All we can say is that it's, uh, it's leucistic for sure. Yeah. That's Whatever a, those speckles mean, I don't know. That's an amazing snake. All right, Manny, good seeing you. Thanks, Have Dave. a great show. Thanks for showing off your Thank snakes. You so all right, see ya. All right, Rattlers, check this out. This isn't just a black-headed python. This is an azanthic black-headed python. Azanthic, of course, meaning that it's lacking all red and yellow pigment. So this azanthic black-headed python was bred by Tom Keoghan in South Florida. I'm gonna have to pay him a visit one of these days. This is just an amazingly awesome snake. So azanthic really brings out the black in this head, but check out this body. You can totally see why these are just amazing pythons and I'm gonna tell it well hey come here buddy so a snake this size as a normal would probably be about two thousand dollars this snake because it's azanthic and because these are so rare in American collections this is a seven thousand dollar snake so rattlers I want to hear from you if you had $7,000 to spend on a snake, would you get this Azanthic Blackhead or would you get another snake? $7,000, comment below, let me know what snake you would get for that kind of money. I would probably get this guy. So I've got to admit that being a snake guy, I often overlook how just amazing the turtle morphs are. I see a table of turtles and I kind of instinctively walk past it, because I'm not a turtle guy but I'm getting to be a turtle guy. So I'm gonna go over to the turtle source and visit with Mark. I can't believe how just amazingly awesome these turtles are. All right, so this is Mark Cantos from the turtle source. So you have some amazing turtles here. This is a Paradox albino radier slider, the new albino radier morph that hatches out in albino form, snow form, lime form. And they develop really crazy black patterning all over the skin and the shell. This is a new morph of yellow belly that we're working on. It's, it's called the camouflage yellow belly. It started out with black adults and it's come out with this crazy shell patterning. And these are exciting on their own, but we're also excited to mix them with our albino yellow bellies and come up with albino camouflage yellow bellies. Next we have T-positive albino Florida red belly. So it's got colors like nothing else. A lot of the skins are lavender colored and you can just about see the red in the, in the eyes if the lighting is right. This is a new morph. It's only a couple of years old. One turtle popped up in a, at a farm that hatches about a half a million a year. And in about 20 years of production, one turtle popped up. Just one albino happened to pop up. So that turtle was then raised up and then put back come up with the first generation and come up with the second generation probably about nine years wow uh, after the great luck a lot of the hard work so now this is one of the hottest items out there even our babies are absolutely pricey and what is the baby cost of these uh babies on these if you look down here uh, right here t positive albino nelson Five, five grand. All right, so this is what the babies look like here. Right, and they just keep getting prettier as they grow. Wow. These are golden flame Florida red bellies. Crazy, crazy colors. Bred through three generations to come up with. We have a yellow phase and we have an orange phase. Those are amazing. So going backwards, we're going to show you the babies first. And then you can see what they look like in just one year. As soon yeah. as you're ready. Let's do that. Let's see it. Now, there really are no batteries in these. This is the real color. No artificial lighting. This is, this is the same in any light. Very bright color. In just one year, these are the golden flame Florida red bellies. Jeez. So these are yearlings then? Yes, these are one year old. Look at that. Just outstanding. Wow. Those are absolutely amazing. And so, what would the cost of these guys be? Uh, these size, this size we have on the table at four thousand dollars. Four thousand. And the hatchlings are nineteen ninety five. Nineteen ninety five. Yeah, with being a snake guy, I just you know I think a lot of snake people take for granted that these turtles exist and that they're some of the colors are more impressive than 
ball pythons out there or turtle, any other snake out there. Turtle morphs are out there. They just take a little longer. Right. These are amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very cool. All right, Rattlers. So that's the end of the 2018 National Reptile Breeders Expo here in Daytona, Florida. Everybody behind me is packing up. It's the end. But, you know, this show is one of the premier reptile shows in the country. You've got the NARBC shows in Texas and Tinley Park. You've got the super shows in California. And you've got Daytona here in Florida. So if you're going to pick one reptile show to go to and you're in this part of the country come here to Daytona if you're in California go to the super show and if you're up in Chicago or down in Texas of course go to the NARBC shows they are all such awesome shows and you can find anything reptile related that you have in mind so anyway guys I got a couple more days down in here in Florida I'm gonna film a couple more episodes it's gonna be an amazing adventure so until then love the planet feed your reptile obsession and rattle on <laughs>